In the fall and winter, there is no better footwear than a pair of good leather boots. But if you've shopped around, you know that prices are all over the board. Why is one pair of boots less than $50, while another is up in the hundreds? You're just paying extra for a brand name, right? While that may sometimes be true, boots are one of the items where you often get what you pay for. Thomas with Real Men Real Style here, and in today's video, I'm going to go over the differences between cheap and expensive boots. The first place where you can see a big difference in cheap and expensive boots is the leather the upper is made from. We'll cover both leather type and leather quality. The most common type of leather used for boots is cowhide. It's tough, durable, and not too expensive. If it's a thick cut, it may take a little time to break in, but this is a great leather that you can't go wrong with. Typically, boots made from cowhide will be in the $150 to $300 range. Next up is calfskin, which will have a lot of the durability of cowhide, but will be softer and more supple. So that means comfortable boots that will be quick to break in. Calfskin will be slightly more expensive than cowhide as it's less prevalent. Cordovan leather is made from horsehide and is very prized because it's smooth, shiny appearance and excellent durability. Its unique qualities come at a price though. Expect to pay two to three times more for cordovan boots over regular cowhide or calfskin. Some unique leather types out there include ostrich, alligator and snake. Expect to pay a premium for the novelty. These types of leather are most often seen in western style boots. Now what kind of leather are most cheap boots made from? The answer is it isn't real leather at all, it's fake. Faux leather is actually a type of plastic, so even though it can simulate the look of real leather, you get none of the durability or other great characteristics. Real leather boots will get better with age, breaking in and developing a nice patina. But the cheap faux leather boots? The surface will crack and start to flake off over time. If a pair of boots is under $100, chances are good it's made from a faux leather. You're much better off saving up and getting the real deal. Now let's talk briefly about leather quality. The uppermost layer of leather is known as the full grain. The layer below that is the top grain, and the one below that is called genuine leather, which is suede. Full grain is the outermost layer, so it keeps the natural grain of the hide and is the most durable part. For this reason, it's considered the best leather type and is the most expensive. Full grain is the thickest cut of leather, so it will require a little more time to break in. Next up is top grain, with the outermost layer is removed so it's thinner, lighter, and smoother, as well as a little cheaper. Because the uppermost layer is sanded away to remove blemishes, Top grain leather will not be as strong as full grain leather. The final leather type to cover is suede. This has a unique and beautiful look with its snapped surface, but it's not as durable as full or top grain leather. Suede is soft and doesn't have as much of a break-in period, but you do need to be careful as it is vulnerable to stains. So try to avoid any dirt or puddles. Suede is often the cheapest of the three leather types. All right, gents, whether you're using an electric safety or cartridge razor, consider using an aftershave balm. Applying this after you shave helps to cool the skin and prevent redness. Now, gents, the grooming products you see in today's video brought to you by Vitaman. And instead of me telling you how awesome they are, how about I put a link down in the description of today's video so you can try them for free. Seriously, gents, use that link in the description to grab a sample kit over at Vitaman for free. Now let's move down to the sole of the boot. On a pair of dress shoes, a leather sole instead of a rubber one is almost always a sign of better quality, but the same doesn't necessarily apply to boots. While some sleek dress boots will have a leather sole, many quality boots are made to be rugged and functional, thus they opt for a rubber sole. Now one way you can quickly tell the quality of your boots is to look at how the sole is attached to the leather upper. Cheap boots will be held together with glue, while your more expensive boots will have either a Blake stitch or a Goodyear welt. A stitched or welted sole will be much more durable. Now a Blake stitch gives a more sleek look, but a Goodyear welt is tougher and more waterproof. On both those, when the sole wears out, you can take it to a cobbler and get the sole replaced. But if the sole wears out on those glued boots, that's it, it's time to toss them. Because of this, expect to get only one to three years of use out of cheap boots, while a quality pair could easily last you a decade or more. Pro tip, watch out for glued boots that have fake stitching. They look like they have a Goodyear weld, but if you look at the bottom of the sole, the thread does not go all the way through. Only if you see the stitching on the underside is it a true Goodyear weld. Hey guys, what's your favorite style of boot? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, let's talk about the lining. A quality pair of boots will have a cork lining in the bottom of the footbed. This will cushion your foot as you walk. It's a small detail, but it makes a huge difference in how comfortable the boots are to wear. Now a cheap pair of boots, you won't find any cork here. More likely, you'll have some sort of rubber or plastic. It will do the job, but you'll definitely be able to tell the difference after a long day on your feet. So now you know the details to look for in quality leather boots, but what about your leather jacket? Check out this video here, guys. 
but I'm going to cover the differences between a cheap and expensive leather jacket. 